My name is Nikhil Venugopal and welcome to eLearn with Vijayagiri. In this channel, my first aim is to cover the basics of mathematics since many students have difficulties in basics. I am going to start with one of the most important topics in mathematics which is algebra. Algebra is the study of mathematical symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols. It is a unifying thread of almost all of mathematics. Let's understand the basics of algebra using one example. Phoebe has some sweets and Alex gave her five more. How we can use algebra to express this statement? How many sweets Phoebe have? That's not mentioned in the question. So, we don't know how many she have. It's an unknown number. In this situation, we use a symbol to represent that unknown number. It can be any letters, but the commonly used, it is X. So let's take X as the number of suites that Phoebe have. So she have X suites now. And if Alex gave her five more, it becomes X plus five. Now, this is called an algebraic expression and this is the very basic of algebra. Let's check some more examples. Sarah have some stamps. She gave five stamps from that to her brother. Here, how many stamps Sarah have? It's not mentioned. It's an unknown. So we have to use some letters instead of that number. Let's take S as the number of stamps she have. And she gave five stamps from that to her brother means we have to reduce that five. So we can express it as S minus five. Fred has some DVDs. He bought three more. Here also it is unknown the number of DVDs Fred have. And he bought three more means we had to add three to it. Let's take F as the number of DVDs he have. So we can express it as F plus three. Bill catches some fishes. Pen took six from him. So let's take B as the number of fishes Bill caught. And if Ben took six from him, then the expression becomes B minus six. Now let's check how we can write the following using algebra. Phi more than C. It will be C plus phi. More than means we have to use addition sign. Two less than D. It will be D minus two. Less than means we have to use subtraction sign. Three times W. Times means we have to use multiplication sign. So three into W. It can be rewrite as 3w. Half of x. For finding half, we have to divide it with 2. So it can be written as x divided by 2. And it also can be write, written as x by 2. Algebraic expression should be written in the shortest and simplest way. That is one rule. 3 times x will be written as 3x. Similarly, x times y will be written as xy. The multiplication sign we will not use when writing in the simplest way. When you have the product of number and a variable, the number is written first. 3 times x we will be writing as 3x and not x3. When you have a product of two variables, you have to follow the alphabetical order. x times y will be equal to xy and not yx. b times a we will be writing as ab. Let's write each expression in its simplest form. 6 times x times y. 
We now need to use multiplication of sign in simplest form. So it can be written as 6xy. x times y times 12. 12 coming in last but in simplest form it should be written in the first. So 12xy. b times a times 8. Number coming last but it should be first in the simplest form and alphabetical order we have to follow. So 8ab. 5 divided by s. In division that rule is not applicable. So as it is we have to write 5 by s. Substitution. Expressions have different values depending on what number you substitute for the variable. Let's see one example. Salary given by a firm is represented as $100D where D is the number of days. If a person work for one day, the value of D will be 1. So the salary he will be getting is $100 into 1. In the place of D, 1 is coming. So it will be $100. Now if a person works for 5 days, this value of D will be 5. So his salary will be $100 times 5. So it will be $500. So when value of D was 1, it become 100. And when value of D was 5, it become 500. So according to the different values we are substituting for the variable, the values of the expression will be changed. Now let's see some examples. Given that m equal 3 and n equal 4, find the values of m plus n. <laughs> Here the values of m and n are given, so we need to substitute that. The value of m is 3 and in between plus sign is the plus and the value of n is 4. 3 plus 4, we will get an answer as 7. 3m minus 2n. Here number and variable is coming together. So write the number first 3. 3m means it is 3 times m. So multiplication sign. Then value of m it is 3. Then in between subtraction sign is coming minus. In 2n write 2 first. 2n means 2 times n multiplication sign will be coming. And the value of n is 4. And while simplifying this, we have to do multiplication first. So it becomes 9 minus 8 and answer will be 1. Let's see another example. 5 times m plus 3n. Here brackets are coming. So let's take 5 first times, then use bracket. Value of m we know it is 3 plus sign is coming in between, 3n means it is 3 times n, so 3 times 4. When simplifying this, first we have to do what is there inside the bracket. So 3 plus 3 times 4, multiplication first, so 3 plus 12, and that become 5 times 3 plus 12 is 15, so all the calculation inside the bracket finish. So no need to write it again. So 5 times 15 and answer is 75. That's all for now. Hope that you understood this substitution and algebraic expressions. We'll be continuing in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, Please subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notifications.